In this video, I am going to introduce the pins of all the 8 modules. Let us start with the switch module. In switch module, we have two pins. One is positive and another is negative. It means we have to connect power supply to the positive pin and we have to connect the second pin to any of the other output device. Let's take the LED module. For LED module, we have four pins. First three pins are connected to the positive of three LEDs. First pin is connected to the positive of green LED. Second pin is connected to the positive of yellow LED. Third pin is connected to the positive of red LED. And the fourth pin is ground and common to all these LEDs. It means negative to all these LEDs. So if we give power supply, positive power supply to here and if we connect the negative supply here, green LED will turn on. If we give positive power supply to the second pin and if we give the negative power supply to the last pin then yellow LED will turn on. To turn on the third LED that is red LED we have to give positive power supply to the third pin and negative power supply to the last pin. For buzzer module we have two pins one is positive and another is negative. At positive we have to give the signal or we have to connect this to the positive of battery and negative should be connected to the negative of power supply. Let's take the transistor module. For transistor module we have three pins. First one is positive pin. It means we have to give power supply to turn on the transistor here. And we have to give a signal to the transistor to amplify or to turn on the transistor. The center pin acts as an input to the transistor. It means signal input to the transistor. And after we have to take the signal output from the transistor by using third pin. It means after giving power supply and signal to the transistor, we have to take the output from the third pin to any other module. For example, to LED module or to buzzer module. For light sensor, we have three pins. First pin will be connected to positive of the battery so that we can give power supply to light sensor. And the center pin is for signal output. It means when the light sensor works, it will give signal from this pin, the center pin. And that signal, through a connecting wire, we have to give it to other modules like LED module or buzzer module or to the transistor module. And the last pin is for negative. So first one should be connected to positive of battery and last pin should be connected to the negative of battery and from the center pin we have to take out the signal from light sensor. Fire sensor consisting of three pins. First pin must be connected to positive power supply of battery to turn on the fire sensor and last pin must be connected to negative of the battery. And the center pin will give the signal output from the fire sensor. So whenever fire sensor detects the fire, it will give a signal from the center pin. From the center pin, by using a connecting wire, we can take out the signal to other modules like for LED module or transistor module or to the buzzer module or to any one of the working modules. So the first one is connected to positive power supply. The last one is connected to negative power supply. From the center, we are going to take out the signal from the fire sensor. Touch module consisting of only two pins. One is positive power supply and second one is signal output. At first pin, we are giving positive power supply from battery and from the second pin, we are taking signal out to the other modules. So touch sensor is actually different. We have a touch panel at back side. So when we touch, it will detect and give the signal output from the second pin. So to use the touch sensor, we have to touch from the back or like this. IR sensor is a bit different. We have three pins. First pin indicates out. Second pin indicates GND. It means ground. Third pin indicates VCC. It means positive power supply. So please don't confuse. We have to give power supply to third pin from battery positive terminal. And we have to connect center pin to the negative terminal of battery. And from the first pin, we have to take the signal output. IR sensor is a bit reverse kind. If you are confused, you can reverse the IR sensor and use as it is. If you turn the IR sensor, you can consider first pin as power supply, second pin as ground or negative of battery, third pin as signal output. Basically, 
Aya sensor works on the principle of light reflection. This white or transparent LED is actually emitting IR light and the black one is actually IR receiver. IR rays are invisible rays which we can't see with our eyes. So the emitting light from the IR LED if it reflected back by any object in its path then the sensor or the receiver will receive the light and it will give a signal output.